businesses to the employee hearing for employee termination at this point. Okay, you want me uh, when I can do the Okay. We'll do the pledge afterwards. Okay, uh, then I'll make a motion to move into executive session under uh, uh, for personnel under 1 BSA 313A4. Thank you. <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. So, so for everybody's information, that was recorded. I'm going to turn the recording off now. Okay. Um, okay, for everybody's benefit, this is recording. I'd like to make a motion that we accept the uh, uh, plant, the, the town manager's recommendation. There, there a second? Second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? No. That's where we're at. Nice work. All right, we will start the regular meeting at 7.14. And we start with Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Amendments to the agenda. None tonight. Anybody else? Approval of minutes of April 21st. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes April 21st as written. Motion, deletions, corrections. Oh, I need a second. Second. First. Thank you. Motion, deletions, corrections. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five minutes for public comment. Public, no public comment. Now, Abel, you got the leg of the The uh, you're, uh, I don't believe you're on the agenda, so yeah, you are. So you can talk it, that. That, that is uh, worked out for DPW. It doesn't belong. Yeah, oh, okay. All right, you guys like Sam Bocrack? We supported the town managers. Department head reports. Chief. Um, I put the monthly report in your box um, for review. We had 11 arrests for the month. Uh, I also put a copy of a letter I did mail out today of 15 residents and all property owners at the trailer park. I don't know if anybody saw that. It was just a draft that, that we're going to uh, start looking at some junk ordinance stuff. Um, I've got a complaint about junk ordinance. Okay. I put a draft that I sent to everybody. I mailed it to everybody that had good property and target property just to put the Coachella Park on notice that at some point in the future, once the COVID relaxes, that we start looking at that and do a follow up. This is airport? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was just trying to, if you pull in there, Literally a junkyard on both sides, all the way down through, um, and it was sent to every every trailer that occupies every tenant and then the property owner. So at some point we're going to start. So maybe they could start thinking about um, maybe removing some of the cars and some junk prior to us having to do that. And again, I put a letter, the copy of the letter. I just took the names off it. It might be down in your box here if you didn't oh, send it earlier. I didn't even go down. But... So if somebody got somebody came to you and had questions. What's this? I want you guys to. Just to see the same letter that I drafted and sent today. Um, so he was the president we used on First Avenue, First <coughs> Street. Yeah, so we would do the same process that we did down there. And I did put in the letter that the, the, the town's goal is compliance to try to make a healthier um, environment down there for everybody, cleaner, healthier, and safer. 
Um, and again, just try to be compassionate and understand that we can't push hard, but we need to nudge that in the direction of trying to make that a much nicer place. I have this week. You guys have any information here? I got nothing. Welcome to hang around. Um Manager. Uh, just a, a few things. Uh, despite having the uh, virus slowdown, we are moving forward with a, a few projects in town. Uh, the fuel tank closure was released and the fuel tank and install RFP was released. Um, we've got a, those are due on the 15th and the board will get their, their first look at it. Oh yeah, that, that calendar is not right. So the 15th is a Friday, but following Tuesday, the board will get a first look at the RFP and the proposals for that, those jobs. Uh, water and sewer budget is in. Um, those are with the board now. Uh, I talked to Wayne Elliott uh, about the, the rate to, for that loan payback, the bond payback. Um, I have it all, and we can talk about it, we'll probably talk about it later, but um, I have the entire payment on consumption. The usage per thousand gallons. He recommended putting that on the base rate just because he was concerned about fluctuations in use. So um, that's coming. I think just most of the bond um, banks and everything always want want it that way. Mm -hmm. I meant to say that the other day when you showed me that, but because it's consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, when I did that, I thought, well, it's fair if it's on the usage because people who use more pay more, people who use less pay less. But, yeah, it's, it's not typically like that, I guess. Um, do, is, is, there, is there actually a correlation between that? Do, you, do we believe that people will actually conserve if you put that on enough to matter if you put it on the consumption side? I, so I'm going to be honest, I don't think people, I don't think the bill deters people at all. Um, but that's my opinion. I don't have any, any hard numbers for that. Um, I think that what the real concern was is um, now with coronavirus coming in, uh, businesses are going to be using less, people will be spending more, uh, people will be spending less. So folks like McDonald's and Shaw's and the restaurants won't have the water consumption. So you're going on the fact that we're not going to get anything toward. We're going to, you're going to make the, the users pay the entire shot on this. Well, that, that's the way it is now, but the board has the final say on what they I'm, want. To I'm, do with it, yeah. I was just going to say the final shot on help me out. If we're okay in a budget. Yeah. If, I, you're, if you're doing the budget, this is this is what's in the budget for this year for for income, correct? Yes. So, I mean. I disagree. I think something right. should be put on the tax rate if we don't get this. Absolutely. I'm, uh, there's no, when I read that, I, I, I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying there is no way that we should be paying for a well, lot. And it's, it's we, don't be, to, we don't have to have it this year, correct? We don't, we're not no, we're it. not this year. Next, not this fiscal year, the following fiscal year is when you need the money. Right. Yeah. That's so right. this is, this would show what it would be but we don't have to do that this year. And we still have the, the local option. Uh, I still want discussions on the option tax, but, but also it, it's good that we're saving and I want to see the numbers, but our water and sewer are too high now. Anything that raises them, I, won't, I, I think we should be discussing. Nope. We shall. And, and that we should be getting into where the general tax starts paying for, for some of that and not just the handful of use. But that's... Well, I, I think we're That's just pretty much in agreement there. Okay. It's just how we do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, no interest in a revolving loan. Um, 
Is that the revolving loan fund? Do you know why? Is it too much rigmarole? Is it to too much application? Yeah, I think we had seven to ten people say, it, put me in. Yep. I, I, I had, it was at least ten people plus uh, one more one more person I sent it to who didn't ask, but they were just concerned about what was going on. And I don't know, but I'll, I'll reach out and see. I think you need to. Yeah, we'll see what. I, uh, I mean, I don't know. It didn't seem that complicated to me, but I, I'm, and and I I don't know what people would expect. There has to be some there has to be some sort of transparency that we can go back on that we can see how we did if somebody wanted to question it. So it's yeah. you know I mean I was I was surprised. Bureaucracy is bureaucracy, but there sometimes there's a need for it. Oh, so, paving, uh, the Pike did want to start paving this week. Um, we did have to push it out to June. The, the budget just cannot support adding tens of thousands of dollars to it at this point. Um, oh, on that note though, so we are coming down to the end of the budget, the fiscal year. Um, Something I'm working on, something I need to improve is my, my PO process. Things do kind of slip through the cracks sometimes and we're tightening up our PO, our PO procedure right now. Um, I've already let folks know that it's, it's, we're moving towards zero tolerance. It's, things aren't gonna be bought before it comes in front of me, um, which is the way it should be. If Jenny's listening, if Jenny's listening, get her stamp out that says no PO. Yeah, she's not listening, but Rod <laughs> showed up, so hey Rod. How are you doing, guys? How are you doing? Um, if if we push paving to June, uh, do you anticipate any increase in price or savings from our bid price based on, I think there was a mover in the contract, right, on fuel price? There was. Um, if it is, it should be minimal. It's be well, it's only like one, what, one month off, May, June. Does pushing it out put it risk? getting it done before close, I mean, we're going to get it completed? We'll get it done. The, okay. the contract is between June 15th and September. I think okay. September 1st. So okay. um, we're well within our right to push it back. Well, that's in, in that terms, with all the stuff going on Washington Street now, are we, are we burying those manholes or are we flushing them out? You're burying most of them. Really? That would, is that the way they're built or is that the way? From my experience in the highway department, they all should be lifted to uh, finish product of black up. Yeah. But we do not have the, the material for one to do it. The material for that, I don't mean to speak out too much here, but that material for that project should have been bought months ago. So that's sit down at our barn, ready for us to do it. Um, we got some manholes that were ordered today that fingers are crossed they'll be here tomorrow. If not tomorrow, um, maybe the following day, Friday, Thursday. Um, the downside to it is talking to Mike today from the state project, they'll be grinding down through there. They'll be down through there midday tomorrow. Really? Yeah, so they will be blacked off before we're prepared to even think about what the animals are. But yeah, first. we're down there working now and doing the, the ones we can and what we have. But that was a poor, poor judgment on someone's part not to have that stuff here. But if they're grinding, you're only going to put on the same amount of mix that they're grinding off. Mm -hmm. They're grinding an inch and a half, they're going to put an inch and a half back on. So the what, if the manholes aren't covered now, they shouldn't be covered afterwards. The manholes are covered now, and Jack Hammer didn't cut them all day today. Why can't we just put our lifts on them? Because that, that's the problem, actually. They're 23 inch manholes, and they do not make a lift for 23 inch manholes, which is why they're the ones that we can are being changed out to 26 inch manholes because they have those. So later down the road, you know. Just because they're, they're old, or? Yes. Because they're all wonderful. Yep. So those will be those will be buried. 
They'll be buried. But they're going to do the same thing they've always done. Right. They've always had to dig them every, yeah. every year. I, I know. It's terrible. I know. Right. But I mean, but it's not going to be any worse than it was before. No. No, I'm just saying that just so if we could rectify that, it'd be nice. But Right. But every time, you know, you cut in the black top or, you know, when you chisel away, you just create a pothole that you're yep. Every year. Every year. You know? So, it was tradition to bury those for forever in this town. Oh, I never understood that, but the tradition of burying everywhere. Really? I don't know. Plumbers didn't hit them. That's why they covered them. They didn't they cover them with an inch of. Mm -hmm. okay, I thought it was just us. No. But so are we going to have, have, have the same problem with manhole covers for the streets that we're going to be paving later? So that we need to go out and order yeah. like we're doing on. Oh. Well, mm -hmm. Once again, working for the highway department. If we're pushing our eight, eight hours a day like we're soon to be, we should have them ready and done by June. Providing we can get the materials of the man. Providing that we can get our hands on those. And providing we have the funnage to purchase them. Well, see what you can do, Joe, to juggle that. Mm -hmm. That that seems to be important. Yeah, I uh, I talked with Nate yesterday or this morning. Yeah, he's going to get the parts. That's something we can't. The budget's going to go over, but that's not something we can just not do. They're, they're going to have to be set. Or so not a waste of money, but we want to do the project correctly. Oh, and on a positive note, if you saw the mayor, he was in the paper today. Uh, he's raising money for the playground still. Uh, last, uh, Linda Barker told me was she raised $771. So... Yeah, we're chipping away at that. And that's really all I have for you. Questions, comments for the town manager? Um, whole business is the first thing on the agenda is a local option tax. Yeah, so uh, Bob and I did have a, we had a phone call with uh, uh, Vermont Tax Department. Um, their figure was was a little bit lower than my original figure. They said 151, almost 152. I said 157. So we were a few thousand off. They did go back though and re uh, rejiggered their numbers for next year based on the coronavirus uh, pandemic. Um, tax uh, local option tax revenue is estimated to come down to 123 thousand dollars for next year. This doesn't count, Am uh, I'm going to say Amazon, but all mail order products that are taxed at the 1%, that number doesn't include that. So it, it may be a little higher. Was that accurate what you, you, I thought you were going to be checking out the Amazon stuff getting shipped to your home. Was what, that, did she say it was, that was right? Yes. Yeah, what they do, which, what they do is it gets, it gets filled to the, the state pay, the, they, the state collects total, all the money that comes to the, to the, um, to the, to the state, all the packages come to the state. The state collects it quarterly. What they do then is they split it out by zip code, mm -hmm. which means it's a little difficult for us because I think Benson or West Haven has the same zip code. So we have, have to do one more. Benson does too. Benson too. And um, so, but they'll, they understand that. They, they're, they're aware that that happens and they will make that adjustment too and we will get money from from the state that way. Which is, what was the, oh, um, the other one that uh, was a little more encouraging to me is, um, for instance, uh, the, um, Car sales are not taxed because they get sales and use tax. They don't tax that. So that made me feel a little bit better about that. It still lays on retail and, uh, you know, not clothing, but other retail and, and bars and, and restaurants. But it's a little less onerous the way it was described the other day. No matter what we do, you know, I, I, I'm 
certain it'll become a more of a proponent of that than, than taking it out of the general fund. I'd rather, even though there's some people here. But I had a question. We ran the numbers last fall, and when we used 150, we based it on making 157,000. And if the one percent option tax, and it looked like we'd be paying thirty four sixty five, and and the document that you sent out was uh, with one hundred fifty two thousand bond repayment, and yeah, and, and and maybe I'm reading it wrong, but it looked like at the bottom of that page was the thirty eight fifty. It looks like it went up. Uh, instead of uh, from the thirty four sixty five was now it could be we have better numbers are different things than I do. I, I might be a little bit I'm was looking at those numbers saying, oh gee, you just wanna mm. and I can so, so the the one fifty two is the actual well the, the actual payment is like one fifty one seven hundred. Yep. Um the state's estimate of local option tax is the one twenty three. And I, that's a sheet that was sitting on the table when when you came in it looked like that. Okay. The, so these are here? the state's numbers. Mm -hmm. Um Again, we were my my number was a little high. Theirs was lower than mine, but I, I mean it wasn't off too far. But I was uh, glad to hear that they have somebody that can help us. I didn't realize they had statisticians that could do this. Um, so, but yeah, 123,000 from from local options, counting uh, any mail order taxes that you do collect, it'll be close to paying that whole bond payment. So it'll be close to a wash. We can leave things. Yeah, and that would be. Best of all worlds for me, I'm not asking because I think our taxpayers are when we get done with school tax are gonna get hard enough. Um, that being said, if we wanted to we have an election coming up in November. There's the the school has to have an election somehow before June thirtieth. No uh no. I talked to the last year's budget. Yeah. Yeah, I talked to the school today and they said the same thing. So yeah. well, okay. I mean I can understand that, but it's that's just kind of foisting that's just kicking it down the road as they say. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, we can I talked to Suzanne about it. Sorry. We yeah. talked I talked to Suzanne and she said all we need to do is get her the language. Uh, we can put it on the belt. Do we have to warn a meeting and and yeah. Because yeah. I know there's a certain number of taxpayers out there that, are, that aren't sure they support the one percent option tax and would rather uh, uh, would rather see their general the general fund be taxed or whatever. And so we got to have an opportunity to let them come there, talk to us and any if there's any vote like that that's having information. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if the board wants, we can actually we could get the ball, ball rolling now. Get the language together through the state, make sure they're happy with it, and prep for November. That would be good. And then when the legislature goes back in January, they could immediately start that their process. Okay. Or unless they're going to do it before that. According to Billy, they, uh, Mr. No, I have, I have, they, they weren't. I haven't got my hair cut in a while, so I, yeah. I'll get the, the info from them. Yeah. Um, my, my, if I could just put in my, it's, it's an opinion, mm -hmm. but looking down the road, um, if the local option tax is implemented with the pandemic that went through, when businesses start to fail, I could see this being the cause. People will automatically blame a 1% tax on, on business failure. Well, I could just, it's just what will happen. So. I remember when that one percent came in, businesses failed. And, and and we're still don't be a pessimist. Two years. <laughs> so, still, again, my opinion. Are we still two years out before you even see the the right. cost after you do the project, and then when, or are we looking to start paying for it early to buy it down? If we got the budget, if we got the if we wrote the the. Uh, the vote, in, if we wrote it properly, to say it's designated for that, then we could put that money in. We could actually put that as reserve account until I don't know which one it is. I never get those two straight, but we could do that. 
Yeah, we did that in the last in the water practice. We we actually raised raised the water rate ahead of schedule. We're willing to start paying that back or to have that money ready to pay back. But we could we could do it, but it's kind of a long drawn out process. So just just so you get some worrying together and we can put it on next next time's um, next time's agenda and that'll give people a chance to speak out the first time against it if they want to. Um, and um, we can vote on it then. Yeah, that'll be specified. It's a, it's a dollar on a hundred dollars. Yeah, I know. It's not like it's going to break anybody. The more, the more I think about it, the more I, I, I'm starting to be more in favor of it than I was. I was pretty adamant against it. The, the other nice thing about it is it grabs, it grabs funding from an outside source. Yeah. Right. So it's not just it's, your taxpayers if they're even funding. Yeah, that's true. It's some of it. Some of it comes locally, but a lot of it, you know, like to pick on mobile, there's a number of people coming through town that will, will be grabbed there for a little bit of money. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get a, we'll get a couple bucks off Dave Mallory over the years. <laughs> <laughs> We're just worth it. Um, so we'll we'll do that and we'll we'll um, we'll um, do, do the official vote if that's what everybody wants to do. Consensus of the board. Right, I'll get some language for next week. Thank you. you. Get it ahead of time. That would be good too. Yes. Uh, mutual aid agreement. That's uh, Rob and Yep. So this is the young lady presented a few weeks back about the uh, um, mutual aid. Um, I think the thing to about this is that we're not required to um, send aid to anybody. We can we can send or not send is based on our own needs. Um, but uh, the Rutland Regional is they're just the vehicle for this agreement. They're, they don't have any really take any part in it. It's just town to town will help each other. I think that's something we should make on our own. If we want to help somebody, we will do it. I don't think we should be told by the Rowan region. We're not. They're going, to, they're going to call you and tell you where they need to help. They're, they're going to say, they yes, they will tell us that, Jay, but they're not, we're not bound. Read it. We're not bound to read it. You're right. This is as bad as the highway safety program. We're in, we're in, we are responsible for everything. We're responsible for the insurance. We're responsible for yes, anything that goes on. But if it, our equipment breaks down out there on somebody else's job, that's our nickel. But it's our volunteer. We would. We're the ones that would do it. We. we would. I'm totally against. That. I don't. I, I, if I, Benson I, needs help and they want it, we want to go help them. Fine. That's the way it should be. But as far as having that group in Rutland telling us, they, I disagree. They, they're not telling. The way I read, it, they're not telling us we have to do anything. As a matter of fact. We have one, we, we select two people. In most towns, it's the town manager and the, the chair of the select board. And they become, they have some names for them, the official aiding, the aiding official and the requesting official. And that's how you control the fact that unless you have agreement from the town that says, yes, we're gonna do it, nothing gets done. What this, what this does though, is if we do, because I think if, Wes, if uh, Benson got in trouble and they, they had some big disaster and they needed some help, it allows us to get, it's a lot smoother to get reimbursed. It's, it's, no, it uh, isn't. I, the I only like way it. you're going to get reimbursed if the people you're there files toward FEMA. No. Nope, yes, not, you're not getting paid from the people you're helping. Read no. it through. The way I read, the way I read through the Correct. document, you get to go in and, and say this you is what it's going to cost you. You could file for FEMA and and bill your time for if you were not Part of asking for the help is filling up the document saying this that we anticipate it's this much gas, it's this many hours and salary and everything before you even make the decision. You know what you. I think it makes it easier. I think it, for for FEMA, it makes it easier for them because they have a. 
coordinating entity that they can go and say what happened here, what happened there. But I don't think they're not forcing. Nobody gets forced to do anything from what I read. I didn't if we put somebody out there that works for the Town of Fairhaven and they get hurt on a job, it's our responsibility. We go out and do something wrong, do damage to somebody's property, Fairhaven is going to get sued, not the town that they're working at. I disagree wholeheartedly. I disagree with that. I, 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 again, it's just I, my I think, opinion. But. I think likening not supporting this is like when someone throws you a life ring and you throw it back and say, I'd rather drown. Why hasn't Pauline and Castleton done it? Because they feel the same way. Why are they going to put their equipment, think, why are they going to put their equipment out, getting it abused and broken and whatever, and know, then have to re, then have, you have to turn around and fix it? I, I, I think we've got people in Pauline and Castleton that probably have have this I'm just care about me and they're not looking at what's the bigger picture. But I, I think this not not supporting this goes hand in hand with our it goes right with our emergency uh, local emergency management plan having having this mutual aid agreement for emergency. You're setting, you're setting the town up for liability. Oh setting the town up for success. You're setting instead the town of holding it liability. back in the past. That, well, that's the problem. We're not gonna keep repeating ourselves. We I, I, I hear what the argument is. Um, what's what's the uh, the? But we all, the bottom line. We yeah. I, I'll see you now. I've had most of the emotion in this. The bot the bottom line on this one right here. We had we had a person come, which I think by the way we didn't treat them very well. That sat over there and we kind of puked all over her in her proposal. But we said within a couple of weeks we'd get you an answer and spend a long time. We owe them an answer. So I'd like to make the motion that we accept the mutual, uh, we sign the mutual aid agreement for the Rutland Regional Planning Commission. Uh, Second. Do you need a second? Uh, uh, hang on. We need a second in order to have the discussion. Okay, I'll, I'll second it. Yep. Discussion. More discussion. <laughs> is this, I can't remember, is this an uh, annual thing? Is it till the end of time? Until you, till we until pull out of it. Out. No, this is, the term of this agreement shall be one year, because I actually read, I actually read the document and, and highlighted that this, the, this agreement shall be in effect for one year, signed and dated by the municipality. So in other words, if if your worst fears that you think we, we went down the wrong road next year, when it comes up again, we can say, boy, that was something that Glenn didn't know what the heck he was talking about. That was something we shouldn't do again. Then we don't do it. But when I when I look at where we have and what you're committing to and the fact that we do nothing unless the people that's part of this agreement here is saying we, we identify two two people that take those two roles in this process of the aiding official and the requesting official, unless we say, yes, we want to do it, it doesn't happen. I read through it also, too, and there's a section in here, and I put a little thing on here. Mm -hmm. So what if there's no funds available and the town goes out and does all this work? Who picks up the tab, town for Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So that's really intelligent. That's going to help our budgets, isn't it? Again, this is looking at a disaster and a mutual aid of helping your neighbor and looking beyond the border of the, the blind fair haven. I think you're, you're thinking Irene kind of thing. It's not, it's not uh, you know, they need an extra couple of ditches in town or something. It's right. a big, big picture thing, not a, not a little thing. They're not going to ask. If, Necessary. I mean, it's, it's not the same, but uh, the hospital worked closely with them during Irene, and they were of great benefit financially to the hospital for that. So, I think it's just a simpler a, conduit to get your money. Yeah. I think that's the whole book of it, anyway. <laughs> Any other discussion? Everybody understand the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Aye. Who's Jeff Wolf? Jeff Wolf. 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 Jeff Wol
you say that again? You I. I'm an I. Yep. Okay. All right. Start replacing equipment after we start working for people to start thinking about what it costs. I I'm by voting for that, I don't think we've sent any equipment to work for anybody, have we? No. We yeah. haven't. They can't force us to do that. More of a, it, I think, well, anyways, we've already made a mistake. No need to waste time on Emergency man, management plan update. Yeah, so this is our annual uh, plan update. Um, actually, I think we're going to, if it's okay with the board, can we table this? Uh -huh. yeah. All right, with everybody. I want to make sure all the uh, numbers and names are correct in here now. Well, I have a, I do have a question about this. When did we se separate the superintendent and the foreman and the highway department? What page are you on, Jay? I was going to ask about this too. Because of, go ahead. Oh, question for you. Oh, yeah, that title is wrong. Nate C. McKenna. Why is there two people on? Why is it separate? Um, so, from my understanding, Jack was the foreman. Is that what he yeah. answered? Yeah. So, when I was town manager, I restructured the, uh, with board approval, restructured the highway um, department. And it was soft with Jack to step out of his position. Um, move the town forward at the, at the time. And so, Jack was that, the foreman position was created for Jack. And then the top was when Jack retired and that position would go away and go back to having a labor. Yeah. So that was just a five year window. So there is no form and position at this point. Yeah, if the board could table that, I'll change some names and titles. Yeah, the other thing I, different now. the other thing I was thinking of is there's um no no um, mention of, of the select board, which is the governing body. So, yeah. I'm we're, we're all listed. Hmm? We're all listed. We're, yeah. we're all listed. Well, not on any of these EOC positions and duties. Or... And there's also, there's another shelter too that uh, Castleton Legion and Catherine Castleton has a FEMA generator over there also. That's a we're in here somewhere because I saw it all. Yeah, you guys are on page eight. Get that part back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did see the whole it's municipal government contact seven and eight. I'll make a motion to table this one. All right. And that's what we will do. Is there a second? I will wait. I'll second it. We're going to table the emergency plan. Yeah. Those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Good. Okay, wastewater plant upgrade loan approval. Yeah, so this is the uh, wastewater facility upgrade loan. This is, let me make sure I got the right one. This is from. USDA. Uh, the board needs to vote to accept this, the loan resolution, and, and Mr. Richards is obligated to sign it. The, the loan is for $3,720,000, and the grant is for $2,658,000. What's the interest rate? It was pretty good, wasn't it? 1.8. So are you looking for a motion? So a motion that we sign, we approve the dollar amounts that you just said, three million seven hundred and twenty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I caught the first one. I didn't catch the second one. It's the loan resolution. The loan resolution. I'll make a motion that we accept the wastewater plant upgrade loan resolution. So the highlights are that that's pretty well maxed out at grant 
the grant money we can get? Yeah, they they were they did reduce our interest rate, um, but they then they reduced the grant funding by two hundred thousand as well. The, the, I know. Both Wayne and I called USDA about it, and they said, "Well, that's what it is." Thanks, USDA. Um, but the payment stays the same. There's no increase in payment. We understand what we're doing. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Aye. Unanimous. That's good. For me. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on to new business. I got, I got one more. Oh, damn. Yeah, this is the state, uh, Vermont State Revolving Loan Fund for $368,200. The state is loaning us this money. It's kind of a bridge, bridge fund. Um, once the USDA loan is passed, the grant and loan is finalized, that grant loan will pay the state fund off. The state loan off. Does that make sense? That's not additional money. That's just no. It, it, it's bridge. Yeah. They're just bridging the gap for right now. Yeah. I need a motion for this. For the Vermont State Revolving Loan Fund. I'll make a motion that we approve the Vermont State Revolving Loan Fund. Wait for him. Oh, I didn't know if there was more to it. It's got to be Close enough for government work, as yep. I say. Everybody understand what we're doing? Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? <laughs> so there's, there's three spots. One spot is just for Bob, and the back two um, are for the rest of the board to sign as well. I'll catch up with you, Joe, when I do the minute. All right, thank you, Jeff. <clears throat> and Bob, this is, remember the packet document just came the day? They sent a revised copy. They just need your signature. Okay. On the bottom, just in the highlighted there. Oh, okay. That's that one where there was no space to sign. Still isn't. Still <laughs> not yet. Go you. Uh, okay. Nice handwriting. Uh, I'll move on. Coin drop discussion. So the, the board postponed the discussion until today. And Seal, hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. Um, and I guess we're, we're back. Uh, last time we left, it was a discussion of if the board should allow uh, coin drops at all this year. Isn't everything else on hold? No. Yeah. There's nothing else. Moving forward, that we know of. But we talked about having it in July, August, no, August, September, October. I think we should table it all, table all coin drops until after us and open back up and see which, where we stand. Because if, if we give permission for somebody to have a coin drop yeah. and everything hasn't been opened yet. I'm on the street and not create a problem. I think, I think we wait until things have been opened up in the state so we know if 
it's going to be all right for people to get together. If you need that, and I motion the table. I'll, I'll second that motion. I think it keeps them alive, but we don't want to see yeah. I'm just saying that I think. Yeah. Is there any value in, um, I see the little yellow slips of paper still sitting here. Is there any value in, in choosing who they will be so that one person could know it's not going to happen, period? Yeah, we'll if we could do, we could pick the people that if we do yeah, have them, yeah, a, they could do it. But would yeah. that help, Seal? Um, you know, because I'm involved in coin drops and the concerts and the Friday night events, um, I guess my concern is that I don't think any of them are going to fly this summer. Um, mm -hmm. and I. I Especially, you know, concerts draw hundreds of people, and I don't see, um, you know, that being a safe option for us in, in particular uh, circumstances we're in right now. Um, the same thing, sort of, with coin drops. I don't think there's any way I can stay six foot, six feet from somebody and take their money in a, you know, in a bucket. Um, especially in the middle of the road that's now more narrow. So I guess I was just uh, seeing if what you know what the status was, so I could report back to, you know, the, the my organization. But um, I told them I'd be shocked if you let us do coin drops at all. So that's that's my particular thought. Yeah, coin toss. Yeah, All right. So let's so let's see put a cover on that and put it in there. Tabled indefinitely, <laughs> which will um, cross one of my round table. Uh, what did she mean by the road being narrower? From the construction? Yeah, from construction. that's what my understanding was, was construction. Oh. Seal, do you mean about the construction on West Street? Uh, or Washington? No, well, you know where you can, there's only a little section like down from um, uh, Stu Shaw's. Because it's yep. you have to stay on. Okay. There's just a little narrow area you can do our coin drop there, and that's where that you know they built the driveway into the new uh, Rite Aid. Well, oh, yeah, Rite yeah, Aid. Yeah. Yep. So it's a little more narrow there than it used to be. We used to have a nice little place where we could, you know, there was some wiggle room. Um, but that, that narrowed a little. And yeah, there's going to be construction on 22A, but is that farther down? No, it should be right there. Should, it actually should be done by the time we're even thinking about going to be done. Not done by first of July. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But no, that's that that was our concern because that's uh, where they put the driveway to, uh, that's not right, Aid. what is it, CVS or whatever? Walgreens. We have right across the street from Shaw's, Walgreens. Uh, that's where the driveway is. So we have a motion to table everything. That we do. I don't think we voted on that. Let's, let's go and vote on that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Dog fee, dog license fees. Yeah, so the the board approved the extension of, of not charging fees because of uh, the pandemic. Uh, we're coming up on uh, the expiration of that extension um, and town clerk was wondering if we would like to extend again. Um, my, my first thought was push it out till Jan January 1st. Maybe that's too far, I don't know. It's just, I'm just tossing that out there for discussion. But yeah, we. Where did we, where, where did we extend it to? Uh, June 1? I think it was June 1st. June 1st. What, are, those, are those Fair Havens fees or are they some portion goes to the state? Uh, those are Fair Haven fees. Yeah, the state does have their own fee, but we can only deal with our own. And what's the total? What's the what? What's the revenue generated from those fees in a given year? Let me check. 
I think it was $850. Yeah, that's not a lot of money. It was, it was under 1000 I think, Jeff. But that, with the question with the opening up of different things that are going on, do we envision that by June there might be the town office be open with people with masks to be able to come in and license their docs? I, I'm, I'm just, we're, we're, you're talking, Manufacturing's there. They're starting the surgery back there, and maybe it's July. But I'm so pushing the licensing out. I, again, it's not big money, but I'm just going okay. Yeah. You know, the dance there's around 200 that have registered, and I think we've been averaging about 450. So about 250 people have. Uh, right. About half to have it. Yeah, we we've, we've budgeted for two thousand dollars in dog licenses, so. And then fees okay. would be less than that. Okay. I guess I'd, I'd be tempted to just wait and see, give it another. Push it out until the end of the fiscal year and see where we're at. July 1. July 1. So July 1. I think the June is the thing that we have. Consensus of the board? Yep. Yep. July 1, push back to July 1. Yep. Yeah. Highway financial plan. Yeah. Okay, this is the annual plan that we had to send to the state. Uh, it shows all. It shows the cash we're spending on class one, two, and three roads, um, as well as our winter maintenance, summer maintenance, and then uh, paving. Uh, and this is also, which is new for us, the additional fifty thousand dollar article. This is the budget that we voted on, or that the town voted on, right? And the board approval. The motion to yep. approve the highway financial plan. Second. And then, yeah. Any discussion? Questions? So the only change is the fifty thousand that we added in our budget, our regular budget number. Our budget numbers are higher, anyways. Yeah, it's your it's winter and summer with admin and mechanical added in there, plus that fifty thousand dollars for paving. Are you okay? All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? <laughs> it is it is starting to bother me. <laughs> yeah, when he sits there, he usually lets me have the towel. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> known you way too long. Talk about lack of respect. <laughs> At least the, the other board members are a lot more subtle about it. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Is there a liquor license restriction? Yeah, I got one here. Yeah. Yeah, so the if the board approved that liquor license last time, but Carol is the only one to sign in the correct place. So <laughs> oh, oh, everyone else. Where, where we sign it? Yeah, so if you guys would sign that for me, I would appreciate it. Oh, geez. Okay. So we there is a motion already on, so we just you go, Carol. Show us all around. Mm. <laughs> uh, sewer budget. First review. Yeah. Um, it's already changed, correct? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess, yeah. Well, no, the, the numbers are the same. It's just where do you want to allocate the, the payment to? And if you even want to put that bond payment into the budget. That changes the number a lot. If it changes want. significantly. So the sewer budget did, did it stay the same? Go down? Uh, the sewer or budget just, uh, just actually with without the hundred and fifty two thousand it would have went down. The sewer fund, the sewer budget right now is at an increase of one hundred and twenty one thousand. If you take out that one hundred and fifty one, it comes down by is that thirty thousand? From last year. From last year, it's a it's a decrease in. Is that down mainly because you're not doing double coverage in this fiscal year? 
Yeah, part of it. So Jim was shifted out of sewer. So part of it is his salary and part of it is his um, uh, benefit. We also had budgeted $30,000 for a, the new hire to come on board. So that money's not in there. So it, it came down. I'm thinking that we should take a look at this with the new numbers. And assuming that we're not gonna we're not gonna do anything with the uh, 151 or 150, whatever it is. Relook at this again. Sure. We're talking about stuff when that is real. Do you want me to pull the bond number straight out of there? The whole thing. I I, I don't think we we certainly don't have a. Probably what you should do is, is just set it aside and show us what it looks like both ways. Sure. Right. I, I, had trouble, I had trouble saying apples and apples. Yeah, so yeah. When I looked at this, I went, okay, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, based on looking at him last year. Yeah. And then, then we can look at that. Uh, there's a danger of being too optimistic <laughs> on, a, on a... Yeah, I, mean, I just want to, like I say, I, I just don't want to see everybody paying this high rate if we don't have to. Right, and at this point, we don't have a mechanism to pay any other way. Right, that's the only way we can do it, but if we're planning on, if we're looking at adding to the town budget, and we start doing budget, and that'll come in, that budget kicks in in July 1 of next year, we'd still have almost a year of picking up money toward, toward am I correct? Yes, yeah. this budget starts July, July, 1. July 1 and we don't have anything except except the, the, the rate payers to however we do it either base rate or usage but we still it, it's all on them it's really not necessary this year well that's the only thing I'm trying to say I just feel that we should I agree it's you know they're going to get we're going to get hammered one way or the other I mean either it's going to be hard hammered or we're going to be in between because if we put money in the regular budget or in the town budget, and then if we get the 1%, you know, it might make a big difference on how everything's going to shape up for the following year. That, that's what, I mean, we may, we may, maybe we want to even put it on, if we get the 1%, and they claim that's going to be what, 151,000, correct? Oh, 123. One, okay. 123 now. So we're looking at, we're looking at a thirty thousand or forty thousand dollar difference, mm -hmm. right? So, if you decide to do, say, like the first year, you put say like one, even one percent on the tax rate. If we didn't need it the following year, that could come off the tax rate. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't have to be a permanent percentage on that tax rate if we're getting the money through this one percent. And I mean. I'm not against the, the basic rate going up a little bit, but I mean, what they're talking, it's, it's going to kill some people. Yeah. But the sewer rate hasn't gone up. No, no, so, but I'm talking about the, the, the sewer. Yeah, the basic, basic rate, it's going to go to eight, what, $68, right? At one point it was, but now if you did everything, yeah, the it way was $66 and change, but the last figure was 54. 54 wasn't it? But it's still a lot. I mean, <laughs> We go, go from 16, yeah, from 16 to 54. That's the one thing I'm saying. We, yeah. I don't want to see that happen. That's cool. Yep. I'll pull, I'll pull the numbers. I'll make two. I'll make two sheets like this, but the budget you'll see will not have. Yeah. So that way you can see what it was last year, what it was this year, and then what it looks like in terms of payments with the bond in it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to consensus the board just going to table this because yeah. we don't need so we, Yeah, we're we're not anywhere near that yet. And how times the decision because this goes in effect July first. It is time sensitive that it has to be done before July first. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, this, this budget is very, very clean. This, this, this is a one piece job. Yeah. This so other than the one. Yeah. I looked through some of this and it looks, it doesn't look bad. The only question I did have was that um, 43,000 
taken out and then you just explained what that was. I thought that's what it was for, but in the sewer. Yep. And that's for the overlap and the change of positions and yeah, staffing. Uh, the parking lot, anything, any updates or questions, folks? Just, just a question. The, that, that Lewis Lane ownership one here, folks, that, I just wonder when it's gonna be put on to the, when people get back. Or do yeah, uh, he, Jake, I'm sure is still in Florida. That's okay. my guess. With everything that's going on. The more, yeah. the more I think about it, the more I think we should not take it. But. I just think, you know, I mean, we can talk about it, but I think the more you think about it, um, that little, the, the half circle, I think is going to be a pain in the neck. The straight in and straight out is fine, but the big one part, you got to take it all. I, I wonder if, if they're connected. I mean, I don't know how that works. They're, they're all Lewis Lane. Yeah. I believe so. I believe it's all Lewis Lane. There we go. Well, hey, let's. I mean, that's something we're going to talk about later. We're going to talk about it. But that, like I said, I just, I've had different feelings on it. I mean, we've got through the winter for the people. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, do we want more headache? Do we want more? I mean, they're talking about trying to dump the apple tree onto us. I mean, I've heard talk about that. That's coming. We'll see something. You know, oh, and, and, oh we, we've had apple tree. You no. Know. Yeah, we, oh, no, no, you're right, you're right. Never, right. We've never had to go apple tree. Yeah. And I, you know, that's just, I'm concerned. If we keep it on these little streets, it's just more, you know, hassle, more, more, whatever. But why would we do it? What's that? An apple tree? We didn't do it before. They took it themselves. I think I, I'm trying to, and I, I can tell you, there's more I don't know when you start talking roads and stuff, but... Every time I keep coming back to 26 miles a road, we got a lot of equipment. We pay good money for the equipment, the dump trucks, the plows, and everything else. We got 26 miles of road. Yeah, but you want to go, the trouble is with apple tree, you go in there and there's only one cul de sac, the rest of it's dead end of roads. Yeah. So it's oh. mm -hmm. all yeah. the straight in. You go straight in, there's a cul de sac at the yeah. end, mm -hmm. but the side streets, there's nothing. It's yeah. parking lot. That's true. That will be, that will be a discussion when I come. Um, anything else? Uh, I don't have anything. We will, well, Adam Street Bridge, I will, will apply for another grant, but it's that's passed. It'll be next year. How, how'd you make out with, uh, Todd? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, Todd Furry, thank you, Jeff. Todd sent an email back, says we can't do that. <laughs> he, uh, his engineer came and took a, took a look, and I can forward it to the board, but I guess the span is not long enough for, for us to, to get across that bridge and then put in footing. But I'll send the, uh, I'll send the, the engineer's information out. He explains it much better than what I just did. Did he have any other alternatives? He did, uh, yeah, he said to put in a precast bridge and then he, yeah, and, and he gave three contractors that could do that for us. Those are $600,000 because that's what our lowest, that's what the lowest thing is, is the precast. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Anything else? On the round table. Okay. Yeah, I got a couple of things. I, with everything that's going on, what's the chance of pushing our last, I mean, keep our last payment of taxes on the 10th, but moving the penalty to the 30th of May? I think they've actually made some provisions to that in the state. I think there's, there's actually, look it up, but I think they've, they've I, done something. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of people still pay their taxes, but I'm just saying you get somebody that might not be able to pay the last quarter and you get hit with the 8% on top of it, you know, and right now I think uh, I'm just, it's just, mm -hmm. I'm just throwing it out there. I, I just, give yeah. me a break, they give them a break, you know. Cause that's the only one that there is in the 30 day grace period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's no water bill won't come out until July or June. 
We, yeah, we can, uh, let me look, but it is the, the board does have the prerogative to waive those fees through the abatement. So um, if there's not one, there's a way to get around that and make sure people aren't overly penalized. So yes. I, I'm just well, thinking. Well, the six, right? So people yeah. would need to know like tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Put that Trying out. Trying to scrape it together. Yeah. Well, why don't you want to do a motion? I'll do a motion that if it's if it's legal, if we can do it, put the penalty off until the 31st of May. Is there a second? A second. Right. You were going to say something? It's, yeah. uh, it's not so much getting it out there, but having having Bev and, and uh, Joe have the ability to not charge those interest fees when people come in and ask. Yeah. Well, they can't come in. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, when they when they can't they're worried about it. Yeah. The point. So if it could if it could get out, yeah. Yeah. It, like tomorrow, that would be. Let, let me make sure it's legal. But if it is legal, then I'll let Beth know, and we'll get the word out that, yeah. like, if you're 30 days late, don't. We're not gonna we're not yeah. gonna ping for it. And do maybe do a press release. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, just, I say you should do the 31st, so not the 30 uh -huh. day, to 30, the 31st. Of May. Oh, to May 31st. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, I don't, I didn't mean 30 days. I meant just till the end of the meeting. Yeah, right. Okay. We'll put a little bit of later. website and your Facebook page as well. Okay. Lot of people follow. Do we vote all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those who can't. Okay, what about the letter from the school board? Oh my gosh. We didn't get a letter from the school board. Um, I didn't bring it to you, I apologize. I do have it in my office, so I can give copies to the to the board. Okay. I can get it tonight. Did it state that they, he can work for the town of Fairhaven? Uh, clearly stated that they will be paying for uh, Mr. Hunter's contract. Uh, did it say it's all right for you the money for him to work for the town of It didn't say not to. Well, I want to make sure. We'll, we'll, make it, we'll get a copy and we'll. Because we don't need five officers here. I agree. And we don't certainly don't need them working every day. And the only other thing I got, what's the status on the lights in the park? I mean, I know you guys had a meeting or something about the name. Uh, the the committee did. Um, we're still waiting on the state to get moving on their end. I sent them two emails uh, and made one introductory phone call, but I still haven't heard back. So it's are we going to, before they can do anything? Are we going to have to have um, come in, have them come in and check for lines in there? And we will have, to, we'll yeah, have we will have to come in. We'll have to have Dick safe, but yeah, they're going to have to do a whole study of the park. The only other thing I was thinking about: there was a water line to that fountain, right? Yeah, because the fountain used to run on a uh, continuous flow of water. But I mean, I'm just saying, it must have been. Uh, I'm just, we it really had to shut off. Yeah. yeah, we really had to try to make sure we find that where that pipe is. I mean, it's got to be deep enough where they're not going to hit it with it. With it, but I mean, we should know where it is so they, they people know. There's one there, and then there's one down to the other end. Down by the gazebo, there used to be a. That's right on the corner. Anyways, right on the pipe. There was there was like a hydrant, right, Jay? Yeah, it, it was. I can remember it was in a. They had a box full of hay and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that, they did. The, well, we used to do the pond, or they used to do the skating. Yeah, um, and it, was, for the, it was a good size one. I mean, you could put a two inch line on. Yeah, yeah. that's the fire department got water. There yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. I think that's. I think that's so. Oh, you said something about they said they weren't going to pay for the, the contract from the greatest school. The school did say they would not be following up with grade school. No, they don't have use for that, that officer. Okay. It's going to be about a thousand dollars in the full bill less than we normally do just for the April, May, and June. Okay, I do have one more. Yes, RO. When did he get promoted to being a captain of the trading party? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That was a wake you up. I've been trying to hear it. 
I can't say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. When did the SRO get promoted to a captain of the trade? It's not a captain. That's, just, uh, that's, that's what it says in reports. Corporal. Oh. And, and I have a letter from the union from uh, what years ago that it's a, it's a non union recognized position and it can be given to whoever. And that's at the will of chief. Um, basically, it means nothing. Just he has two stripes on his shirt. What's the truancy call you've done? Welfare checks, kids not doing homework, um, hmm. outreach. It's all been complaint driven. Everyone. Right, I, I'm just asking. I saw it in the report and, yeah. I, and I just want to ask. So everyone, I have a case documented for everything they've been doing. Like, I put it so you can clearly see what he's been doing. So they have to, if, if the kids aren't doing the homework, they notify and they have to go see him? If they can't reach the parents, and make contact and they send the SRO up to make contact with the students and to address issues with them. It's basically he's the SRO in a school without walls is what's happening. So anything right. he would normally do in there, truancy issues, um, they have him running, just doing errands back and forth. And between that and the food program, he's primarily doing school stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh, I just had two things for Joe. Uh, Park Place over on Southside and the end of Bigelow Hill Road. I got two complaints uh, that they've got a lot of potholes and need grading. If if we get a guy out there on a grader, what was uh, what was wrong with Park Place? South Park Place? Supposedly there's a, no no. Isn't it Park Place? Down by Whipple's garage, there. Um, no, that's Academy. No, Our place before, is that little square. It's before where Academy. the Perry's live. Yeah. It's Sharon and I. I know what he's talking about. He's talking about a hole. Yeah. yeah, he said a bottle. Okay, it's just past the railroad track on um, Pleasant, Pleasant Street. Okay. It's just before that little side street. Was it three pothole near railroad tracks? Just past the railroad tracks. I think it's Park Place, but I don't know if that's. Oh, yes. Park Avenue. Park you know what I'm talking about? Park, Park yeah. Avenue, maybe. Can you take a look tomorrow for me? And, uh, and then uh, just talking about if, if we have a couple open positions, should we talk about maybe changing the way we have our our department heads uh, structured mm. if we have a couple holes we have we don't have anybody as a, a sewer operator right now and maybe we could structure our department heads a little differently if that if there was any gain there yeah so so DPW in the job description it is required that they get their sewer and water license I don't know if that matters to you The water for for sewer is gonna have both. Really? Yeah, that's that state requirement. Or? That's town of Fairhaven requirement. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> it, Although I, I can understand they probably switch back and forth all the time. So. But it's a lot to do. But but we we make the rules, right? We make so rules. to your point, uh, Jeff, if if you're saying now that might be a good time to have a discussion of just because it's always done it that way. Do we have a discussion? Is there a way we can work more efficiently? That's, that's right. It, and it works pretty well the way we have it. It's just that there's two open spots, so it's worth having a conversation now. Yeah. Do we look to put it on our it's, it's an agenda item, or how, I don't know how put it on the agenda. agenda. And if anybody's got suggestions, you know, shoot out an email. It sounds like you've been thinking about it a little bit, Jeff. So, a little bit. A little. It'd be nice to hear your thoughts and and yeah. If you've I'll, got, I'll see if I got can. some ideas, Joe. Please. And if you guys want to put your heads together, even better. But yeah. Do you have like a, a employee chart with structure for the yeah, We have we have a chart that explains every position, right? Oh yeah, we have description. Yeah, we have job description, but we don't have. But you don't have. Like like the higher like up, like a board for who is the orange chart? Yeah, oh, well, we can make one. That would we, be. We have you have one person not in the union, 
waste management, and then you have your water and sewer department has their union position. So that's where it comes down where they can't do discipline per se. They can write somebody up and turn it over to the town manager for discipline, but as far as being the, 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 the org chart would be good to have. I, yeah. I would. I don't want to make extra work, but I'd like to see it just because I don't. No, I mean, we probably should have one anyway. That seems yeah. like something that, yeah, that we'll pull one together. That's, well, that's easy. That's fun. If, if you had something made out of who answers to who, we wouldn't have this little problem. Yeah. I mean, it would have been easier. Yeah. 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 But yeah, no, I mean, it is very obvious. Exactly. But I mean, what I'm saying is if <laughs> if everything comes down, this is we line up, you know. Yeah. It would be. And you know, modern, modern, modern thinking. Yeah. Anything else, Jeff? No, that's all I got. Okay, um, I've got the gravestone. I was just gonna. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Yes, on Main Street. No, oh, if I. No, Ooh. it's. I picked it up. It's over here in front of the right in front of the door. Oh, it is. Yeah, it was this afternoon I went by. It was still there. You must have got it today. I went and grabbed it about three o'clock. Yep. Okay. It's been there since I came to town more than two years ago. Yeah. I thought that's where it went. <laughs> Nobody ever said anything. There's a, a part of a grave on uh, West Street Cemetery. It's been in front of. Uh, in front of. Long been a very concern for two years. Somebody stuck it in the ground. Stole it from there. So. Lulak has been after me forever to get this, so I'm glad. Thank you. Yeah, I, I picked that up, and I thought for sure somebody's going to come out and yell at me. But no, no problem. Um, I'll okay. talk. I'll get John and see where. Yeah, he he does know. He does know which which stone it goes to. Um, town clerk, I had a request today. Um, somebody wants to do a title search, but the, their lawyer can't get in there. And I'm wondering if there's any way we can do some sort of appointment, social distancing. Uh, we're looking at somebody who wants to build a house. Um, it's Al Brown, actually. And he wants to build a house. And he needs a title search. And he can move on from there. But that's, uh, that's tax roll money. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if there's a way that you guys, it, it, talk to Suzanne and see if there's some way that you can do it. Yeah. Is, uh, I think he's, she's, I think he's using comfort and, and folding. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you can't want to lock it. No. Uh, do you have a contact? If you give me a contact number, I can get, get in touch. And, and I'll send it to you. Cool. Thank you. I thought we had enough records online that they could do that, do that online. They go back almost 40 years. So we can point them in that direction. And yeah, that, something may, else. that may be the way to go. Yeah, comfort is... is but, I, I will give you a phone number. I don't have it with me. I'm surprised I don't have it. But, but I would think one on one would compensate that. Or, you know, figure that out. I'm surprised that, that Suzanne didn't tell him. Didn't tell him to try that. Actually. But, um, okay. Uh, I was going to ask, and I'll, I'll say it out loud just because I want those people to know that I tried. <laughs> We, um, we, uh, there was going to be a request for uh, um, poppy sales at the south end of the park. Oh, yes. And that would uh, that would that would fit right into the uh, into the coin drop kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like we're getting some feedback. So, anyways, uh, that that answers that question. And I got one more, which I have no idea how to answer this except the legion is going to repave their their parking lot they were told by the contractor that one of the reasons it's so expensive is because of that sag where the water line goes through and they were wondering if we had any, any involvement in that anymore that was done in the early 90s i, I think yeah I don't know what our liability would be or anything, but I said I would mention it. Um, so I don't think I don't no. think it's. I mean, it's, well, it's I been twenty years. I know it's been, and it just settled a year ago. Right, so a year yeah, ago. Yeah, right now. And so if they the want, 
if they question about things moving on that part of town, walk across the road to Mrs. White's driveway, hmm. and her driveway will raise that much in the wintertime. Yeah. So it's, I think, it's just the ground itself where it is, and you know, the movement. I, I don't know that. So the we reason... certainly can't go back on the contractor no. um, at this point, but I just said I would mention it, and I don't, if you could just look and see. Maybe there's a state reg someplace that tells us that. But that's. So the that, leading that's is. Down, I believe that's state right away. I was going to say it's probably not legion property. It's, if we put a pipe there, it's, it I must believe, be right away. I believe the state. If you go from the center of the road there, I bet that's. Oh, well, probably true. That's probably state. That. Yeah. Thank you for paving the right of way. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's the thing. I, I, uh, Okay. Well, see, they'll have to Let me look into it, though. There may maybe the state will give us something if we ask nice. Well, you know, the state's there. Well, of course, I found out today they're only paving the town line. They're well, only so paving. They're only paving to in front of my apartment house. I saw that stake there today. Or did well, I said to the guy today that was out there. I said, but from there, the the cemetery. That's the worst section of the road. Yep. Well, he said, I think they're coming back, but I'm not sure. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what they told us. They told They're us the bottom to... of the hill. No, no, no. They're going from the bottom of the hill down to my apartment house. Well, they're not coming from the state line? No. That's oh. Not so I don't know what's happening with this other project because that, that was part of the 22 way project was the other end. That was my original thought. And, and I also I, asked. Then I heard they started up here. I called by the flamingos. I said they started by the flamingos. Yeah. And I also said, asked them why they're starting to grind in the middle of the hill instead of coming down to take care of where that manhole is. Hmm. And he said, I don't know. They're not coming down that far. No, no. And that's why I asked them why they weren't coming. I said, that manhole should be, you know, they should grind from there up through. And he says, I don't know. I said, but aren't you the engineer? Well, yeah. Oh, well, why aren't they doing? Why can't they go down another ten feet? Why yeah. aren't they doing? When did this all happen? That's because the guy was up there. He told me today. He said, "I'm going to." <laughs> when he stopped at the barn there a few weeks ago, there was talk of it, and he told us then that they weren't coming down that manhole. They're they like midway in that hill and going up. Yeah, it's, right there's, there's, there's a line across right in the middle of the hill. Yeah, I saw that, it's and then I saw the state. Yeah. I just thought that. I thought there was a great stake they were going to they were going to do when, some stuff. They came in the survey because I was questioning the guys that were surveying because they're putting stakes in mm -hmm. a, across my line. And he said, we're just surveying the town property where we're going to be paving in the town. That's the only thing we're surveying. I said, what about the other end? Well, he said, I guess they're just going to pave it. So I don't know. And they've also, they've also got a line down here. I saw that. Again, I right saw that. The, yep, right the right town line. I wondered yeah. what that was. This side, just this side of shots. The yep. old yep. The old line. Yep. Right. Yeah. So and then so they're not going to take care of that big dip that's down. Well, they were almost a max. Well, they were supposed to do under the highway from the under from the underpass where they had stopped last year. Yeah. They're supposed to come from there down through. Oh, that yeah. was the original. Yeah. Could you call the state? Yeah, let me give them a call. Because I was amazed. Uh, because that's the worst part of that road down here. In front of your place and down through there. Yeah. So the, back to the back to the Legion. They're they're paving their parking lot. It's their it's their parking lot, but they do a lot for the town. I mean, we always do our votes there and whenever we have a um is there any way they could get in on our bid price? That's what I told them to do. I told them to go to get because they only got one, they only got one contractor, and he gave them a pretty good chunk, well, sizable. Who was the contractor? Will? I'm not sure. I didn't ask, but I, uh, I wasn't told. But I told them to call Pike. I said they're here. They're going to be here, and it it may make a difference. They don't have to move a lot of equipment around and everything. You may get a better price. Yeah, not only that, but you'll do it on the Saturday or Sunday. Right. Right. So yeah. But yeah, I did I did give them that much. Are they just shim coating the this is just for my own information. Yeah, I would imagine they're they're gr grinding it down. No, they're, no they're just gonna I imagine you're gonna put an inch and a half on. Yeah, they're gonna do just enough so you don't crack the stone. Yeah. That's usually an inch and a half. 
So anyways, I would think if they went in the shield, I'd be plenty of this. Like me too. But that, you know, the payment it, itself, there's nothing wrong with it. No, that, the parking lot is not bad over there. The only place that's bad is that one spot that we're over. Yeah. And if they come in just past Shad. Well, just to see what, what our responsibility yeah. is first and foremost, and if there is any in it. So you're right, it's I think it's a, I think that's right a, away. I think that's a three yard or four yard. Yeah. So that would be 50 feet, right? No, three or four yard, or she's sort of three rod. Yeah, three rod 16 and a half, right? Three, okay, so four would be 50 feet, Six, so 25 from center. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, let's move on then. Uh, expenditure. Jeff. How you doing? Uh, yep. So, uh, motion to pay the payroll warrant $27,250.73. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Hello. Those opposed? You guys Next. still there? Yep, you're good. Um, did he second or no? Yeah, you're all set. We all voted. You didn't? <laughs> <laughs> sure did. You abstained? Yep. Somehow I missed the whole thing. All right. Uh, uh, General fund seventy five thousand four hundred eighteen dollars and seventy one cents. Second. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Got that one. And the checkbook balance is up to two million twelve thousand five hundred dollars and eighty nine cents. That's a lot of money. What is it? You want to run that by me one more time? Two million. Twelve thousand five hundred dollars and eighty nine cents. Two zero one two. Yeah, we've got a couple million dollars. We owe the school. We owe the school. Million three hundred dollars or something. We owe the school two million one hundred ninety four thousand dollars. Uh, the bill came today. And that's due when? That's due the one. This After the next meeting, it'll be in the next warning. Uh, warning. Yeah. yeah, we still got time to get more money in our checking account to get it back up. Or, but the trouble is, you know, there's, this is for two quarters, right? This, no, this is the whole, the whole this is, band. This is, yeah, this is all of it. This is all cool. So they never billed us at all through the year, so we could do a, a, a four month, uh, three yeah, month baby. I, I talked to her today. Um, why? She doesn't know, and we don't know on this side why this didn't get pushed through. Uh, normally, it is just happens automatically. For some reason, this year, um, state payments, the, the state emails something in, and then it gets paid off of that. Um, nobody seems to have a reason. Well, to know, uh, I would like to, to see that checked into because this yeah. is quite a shot for us that come with that kind of money yeah. at the end of our fiscal. Yeah, that was a question we had today. It's like. From the last meeting, it was like, well, there's all this money and there's all this due. What's going on? No, we're we're okay though. I I double checked with Jenny on that. She thought we'd be we'd be fine. It would be a lot easier for doing it every quarter. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. I just wanted to make sure we weren't going to be short. Right. right. That being said, I'll make a motion to get out of here. Not debatable. Yeah, <laughs>